speak. Can we start again? Um, <laughs> so I'm sorry. <laughs> so what are you doing right now? Um, I'm in um, Windmill Lane Recording Studios in Dublin and uh, we've been recording orchestra all day for um, two tracks that I'm working on. Well, I'm making a solo album, so I'm embarking on a solo career. And at times I know it's hard to stay together. The two that we've done today are It's Not a Dream and A Small Town Boy, Bronski Beat. And It's Not a Dream is written by me. And we are just putting orchestra down on those tracks and one or other will be the first single. You are my soul, you're my sanity. I can't explain, but I know it's forever. And if you feel the same way, just let me see you feel it too. I like to write about what really, really touches me. Um, I can only actually write about what really touches me because anything else would seem like I faked it up, you know. I'm a bit of a hopeless romantic, so I mean, you will find a lot of the themes are love-based. It's very romantic. It's about, um... <laughs> it's about being in love, madly in love, and needing the confirmation from the other person that they feel the same way too. Good times, they will come and go. Hard times, we will... When you write a song, do you always write it knowing that it's you that's going to sing it? Or could you, do you ever write a song thinking this would suit someone else? Um, one of the songs that, that, that we did today, actually, It's Not a Dream, could pretty much suit anybody. But um, I prefer just doing it myself. Which of your songs that you wrote for the cause, which ones were they that you were most happy with? Um, radio I was actually most happy with and I wrote that in a hotel room in Dublin. Radio I liked it because it really described my mood at the time and, and uh, I was missing uh, my loved one very much and I was watching, you know, a, a couple on the street sharing summer kisses and silly sounds, you know, the way couples get on together and I just hated them for it, you know, because I wanted to be doing that. Is there a difference in the songs you're writing now to the songs you wrote for the cause? Yeah, there is. There's a consciousness of the others when, you know, there was a consciousness of the others and it representing the cause to a certain extent, but mostly it was just what came out of me. You know, I was younger when I was writing, you know, for the chorus. The lyrical content would have been would have been different. I feel I've sort of been a bit put through the dryer in the last few years, you know, so I, I'm much more in touch with uh, my emotions now and much more capable of expressing them, which is probably just a part of getting older and having a couple of rotten experiences, you know, <laughs> that's probably it. <laughs>